using models to add Lesson 5.5. We can use models to help us add. When we get too many ones, we can regroup the ones into a 10. And you can make your own models with paper. You can just use school paper and make your own rod or long of 10. See? Each one of these is 10 units. You can use construction paper and make your own long of 10. Each one of these is 10. You can just cut it there and use each one of these as a 10. And you can make more and cut them separately to make ones. See? So here we have a two-digit math problem. We're going to add 28 plus 36. We use our models. We have two tens and eight ones for the 28. And we have three tens and six ones for the 36. And these models can help us regroup and add 28 plus 36. What we do is we first look at the ones. We want to see if we can have enough ones to make a new 10. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. We can take this 5 and this 5 and make a 10. So let's do that. I'm going to move these over here. That's 5. Whoops. 6, 7 with these two. 8, 9, 10. Okay, sorry about that. And if you see, these 10 single ones, see how these are all the separate ones? We took the 5 from here and the 5 from here, and we made one long. So how many 10s do we have now? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 10s. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 1s. 8, 9, plus 6 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We got a new 10 and four ones. We add 3, 4, 5, 6. We get 64, just like the models. Six tens and four ones. See? Let's try it again. Let's see if we need to regroup. We want to add 23 and 12. We have one, two, three tens. We have three ones here and two ones here. Do you see enough ones to make a new 10? We have three, four, five ones. No, we don't have enough to make a new 10. We just have five ones. Three plus two is five. And we have one, two, three tens. Two plus one is three. 23 plus 12 is 35. We didn't have to make a new 10. We didn't have enough ones. Let's try it again. Here we have 37 plus 27. We have three tens and seven ones. We have two tens and seven ones. Do we have enough ones to make a new 10? Yeah, we do. Look, right here. We can take this 5 and that 5 and make a 10. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 10s and 1, 2, 3, 4 1s. 6 10s and 4 1s. 7 plus 7 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We put the 1 from the 14 up here and the 4 from the 14 down here. See? 14 is 1 10 and 4 1s. We put the 1 here and we put the 4 in the 1s place. That gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 10s. See? We regrouped. Let's try it again. Here we're going to add 42 plus 29. 
Do we have enough ten ones here to make a new 10? We have four tens and two ones for the 42. We have two tens and nine ones for the 29. If this is nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we could take a one from the 42 and move it to here and make a 10, can't we? Now we have a 10. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens and one one. Nine, 10, 11. 11 has one 10 and one one. This is the ones place, this is the tens place. The one that was in the ones place goes here and this one for the tens place goes into the tens column. We have one plus four, that's five, six, seven, 71. It worked, see? So you can make your own models with school paper or construction paper, and you can use models to help you count and regroup tens, okay? Make yourself lots of ones so that you can add them together and have enough to make tens, okay? Let's try some critical thinking. We need to look for a pattern and write the next tens and ones. So let's look at this pattern. We have five tens and six ones. Then we have six tens and seven ones. Then we have seven tens and eight ones. Can you see the pattern? Do you know what would come next? It's going five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. See how the ones is repeating to the tens place for the pattern? Seven ones, then seven tens, eight ones. So if you said eight tens, you're right. Do you know how many ones would be next? It's always one more, isn't it? There's one more one than there are tens. It goes five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. So that would be eight. If you said nine, you're right. It would be eight tens and nine ones for the pattern. Let's try this one. Look for the pattern and then write the next number. Do you see what the pattern is? We have one, one ten and one one. Now we have two tens and two ones. Now we have three tens and three ones. Now we have four tens and four ones. What would come next? Well, if you said five tens and five ones, you're right. Good job. So try to make your own models if you can, and you can use them to help you add two-digit numbers. All right? I'll see you next video. Bye.